Amen. 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 Well, we're going to be talking about, uh, we've been talking about kingdom power, about walking in kingdom power uh, for several sessions. And tonight we're going to, to be talking about the impartation of that kingdom power. And so at the end of this session, uh, just get your hearts ready uh, to receive uh, because uh, Brother Fred and I and uh, Sister Becky are going to be imparting uh, what the Lord has put in in our hearts and in in our in the ministry that He's given us that we're going to um, uh, impart uh, that that ministry. And so uh, I'm going to turn it over okay. to Brother Fred. As Sherry said, we're going to talk about imparting um, the power of God, and it's time to pass it on. Uh, we've certainly been doing this uh, in these uh, sessions a lot, a lot through prophecies and uh, what the Lord is instructing us to do. But tonight it's going to be more general, and so what I'd like you to do is to tell you to get ready. And uh, if you want to receive what we have, re what Sherry and I have received, and Sister Becky, then then I ask you to get ready and and believe, believe the Lord to receive what. Uh, uh, we have received it because we want to pass it on. It's that's the time. It's time to pass it on. There's a lot of spiritual things uh, that are passed on uh, from one person to another, one anointed believer to another, uh, from minister to minister, from generation to generation. These are the things that tie us together. The importation, and it's a part, an important part of the kingdom. Um, you think about the kinds of things, spiritual things that are imparted. It's the power, it's the anointing, it, it's uh, the blessings, blessings. Uh, the Holy Spirit, the spiritual gifts, all of these things. And we see examples in the in the Word of God and, and uh, in our lives. We've seen uh, these things. Uh, uh, God has used uh, uh, believers to impart into our lives, and we've imparted uh, uh, people to people all over the world. Uh, God has sent us, and and uh, there's a difference uh, tonight. Uh, we won't be laying hands on you, uh, but God has shown us other ways to do that. I, I want to just talk about some examples from uh, the Word of God about uh, uh, spiritual things being imparted uh, from one person to another person, and we'll start with Abraham in Genesis four. Uh, not Abraham, but uh, Israel in Genesis 48, uh, he imparted blessings to Joseph's two sons. Now Reuben was his oldest and was supposed to get the double portion, but but because of rebellion, uh, Israel chose his son Joseph to give the double portion to, and he did that by blessing his two grandsons, Joseph's two sons, and he laid hands on them and blessed Ephraim and Manasseh, and those were uh, spiritual blessings that he imparted to them. Then we see Moses in uh, uh, Numbers chapter 11. Uh, he had a great responsibility, and God was raising up leaders around him, and God wanted those people uh, to have the anointing, the same uh, anointing that was on uh, Moses, and so the Lord, so Moses called him up to the, uh, to the uh, tent, and then uh, the Lord came down and took of the spirit and the anointing that was upon Moses and put it on 70 elders. And one of the things that's interesting, uh, two of the people didn't make it to the meeting, uh, but yet they got the anointing anyway. Hallelujah. And I believe that uh, some people may have uh, conflicts tonight and uh, they may not be able to be here, but God, God is not limited. And so I believe they will receive what is being imparted tonight as well as those have attended though but I do want to thank you for attending tonight as Sherry said I believe this is one of the most important sessions that we've ever had and particularly in the zoom meeting uh, and, and I want to I'm just talking about examples from the word of God about impartation and, and some of the things that have happened you know uh, uh, Deuteronomy 34 said that um, um, Joshua received an impartation of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom. And how did he get it? Where did it come from? Moses laid hands on him 
and imparted the spirit of wisdom uh, to Joshua. And then we see uh, Samuel uh, anointing uh, David, uh, and Saul. So first Saul, and, and uh, in 1 Samuel 10, he anointed Saul to be king, and Saul was a good king for a while, but he rebelled, and, and so the anointing, then uh, God rose up, raised up uh, David, and so uh, Samuel went and, and anointed him, so these were anointing uh, to be king, to be a leader, and, and then we see Elijah, Elijah uh, put two mantles on uh, Elisha, uh, and, and one was for the office of uh, prophet, and the other, the second one, uh, when he went up in a fiery chariot and with the whirlwinds, uh, he, he sent his uh, mantle to Elisha again. This was the second time, so you can have more than one uh, impartation, and so we see multiple impartations here, and the second mantle was for miracles. Uh, yes. And he did twice as many miracles as Elijah did. So we see this throughout the Old Testament. There are all kinds of, uh, of impartations. But it didn't stop in the Old Testament. It carried right on over into the New Testament. We look at John <clears throat> chapter 20, verses 21 and 22. Jesus appeared to his disciples and said, peace. And then uh, he said, as the Father sent me, I'm going to send you, and this applies to all of you. As the, Jesus sent, as the Father sent Jesus, He's sending you out. Well, you have to have uh, you have to have some impartations in order to do what God has purposed for you to do. Yeah, see, you, see, you have a purpose. Everyone has a purpose uh, that God has for you to do and fulfill on this earth, and you need these impartations uh, to fulfill it. And so Jesus said to His disciples, uh, "As I have been sent." the father sent me i'm sending you and then he breathed on them this is a different way to receive an impartation he breathed on, breathed them, on them and he said receive the holy spirit hallelujah <clears throat> now we see in acts chapter 8 18 that uh and i'm just quickly going through these and then i'm going to slow down a little bit and 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 tell you some things to think about these are just examples i'm going through uh, the bible and we see that here in Acts 8, 18, that Peter and John came down to where uh, the evangelist Philip had been having all kinds of uh, a, a big revival and all kinds of signs and wonders, but the people hadn't been filled with the Holy Spirit. So this is the, the portion that uh, Peter and John added to the people in Samaria. They were, laid hands on them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. It was so obvious that uh, a man named Simon wanted to buy it, but uh, <laughs> uh, you can't buy. You cannot you, buy the power. You cannot buy the power of God. And, and then uh, we see in uh, Paul, uh, Paul's writings in Romans chapter 1, verse 11, he said, I, I desire, desire to come, to come. And, and see that I might I impart, impart. Some, some spiritual gift to you. And why, why is that? That you would be established. established. Glory to God. So there's reasons and there's a lot of different ways to do it. A lot of different things can be imparted and there are a lot of different ways that they can be imparted. Now he said, uh, again, Paul wrote in 1 uh, Timothy 4.14, he said, uh, don't neglect the gift that has been uh, imparted to you, given to you, granted to you. So the word imparted means giving or, or sharing or granting. And so he said, don't neglect that gift. How did it get there? By words of prophecy. It, it got in Timothy by words of prophecy. And, and then, uh, and also with the laying on of hands. And then in uh, 2 Timothy, and this is going to be my last example, just biblical example, but uh, I want you to see there are all kinds. And he said, "There's a. I want you to bring a fresh, fresh fire. Uh, when I laid my hands on you, uh, Paul's writing to Timothy, uh, I, I bestowed a gift upon you, and, and now I want you to stir up that fire. And so uh, there's a lot of different ways um, and a lot of different uh, spiritual things to receive by impartation. I want to give you a little bit of background. A lot of the ministers that we know also know their roots, that, that nobody just uh, these uh, modern uh, 
ministers that we know that are very powerful, they all had roots. They, they, they stood on the shoulders of the generations that came from them before them that yeah, they, yeah. they imparted things into them. And, and uh, I know the history of a lot of people. Uh, uh, I'll just mention a couple of them because they might not be familiar with you, but uh, Kenneth Copeland, for example, he's been ministering for years and years, and and we actually received an impartation from him. Amen. But he received impartations from Oral Roberts, Roberts. who had uh, great healing uh, revivals uh, and ministries in the 1950s, and Kenneth Copeland was his pilot. And, and then he also received impartation from Kenneth Hagin, who was uh, well known in the area of uh, of healing and miracles. And so he received an impartation and, and we received an impartation from him by going to his meetings and, and he prayed for us and, and uh, the people around him prayed for us. And so we received impartations and you get impartations in a lot of different ways, but one of the ways you get them is just being connected to anointed people and anointed Amen. believers. Amen. And that, that's the way we received a lot of the anointing that we have and the power that we have was through impartations. And a lot of it was because it was something we were seeking. We wanted these things. We wanted the gifts that the other people had, the, the ministers in, in other generations. And, and see, their point of view was that they had freely received and so they freely That's gave. Right. And, and and so we went to those kinds of conferences uh, uh, for decades now, uh, back into the 1970s. We, we went there and those people prayed for us. But but you know, I, we've been in a lot of congregations and, and uh, there's never been a pastor in a congregation that we were a member of that ever invited us up to come and, and receive an impartation. Uh, it's a different stream that that thinks right. about imparting uh, than uh, local congregations. And, and there's several reasons we can think about. Uh, one is that they may not have received anything to give you. You have to receive in, in, in order to give out. You have to be connected to the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people are not connected to the Holy Spirit uh, and, and the power. And, and so if you haven't received anything, you don't have anything to give people. And so in a lot of streams of, uh, and religious streams, they don't, they don't concern themselves with impartation. But there are other streams of people and believing and the way they believe that they have a kingdom mindset. And the kingdom people with a kingdom mindset want to advance the kingdom. And that's where Sherry and I are. Oh, that's right. And we're, the title of this series, see, is about living in kingdom power. So there's that critical word, kingdom. And so this whole group is called kingdom leadership. So we're con we have a kingdom mindset, and we're concerned about a kingdom culture that's advancing uh, the kingdom. Now, what do I mean by advancing the kingdom? Well, uh, Jesus himself said in uh, Matthew 6, uh, verses 9 and 10, pray this way. Uh, our Father, Father which, which is art in heaven, heaven. Your, your kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done on the earth. So the kingdom is about bringing heaven to earth. So people who are interested in bringing heaven to earth, uh, they're going to be wanting to impart spiritual things to you because it's not about any one of us. It's about all of us Amen. being Amen. equipped. Amen. And the kingdom ministry is about equipping people to do what God has purposed them to do so that they can have a part in bringing heaven to earth. And, and that's what it is. And that's the mentality that Sherry and I have. Now, a lot of people have imparted into our lives. And uh, one of the most significant ones, and we've mentioned some of these, is that uh, when our spiritual father, we were in a meeting in Mexico and he called the apostles and prophets, uh, to pray over us, and they came up and uh, and they uh, imparted things to us, and that was there's some spiritual shifts in the in the heavens uh, in the heavens happened at, at that time, and, and so we have freely received, Hallelujah. and so we freely, freely give. give. 
And so what we have received, we have given, and we're giving, and tonight we'll be imparting some spiritual things to you. And uh, let me say that uh, it's by the unction of the Holy Spirit. See, I've had uh, for weeks uh, that uh, we were supposed to impart uh, in this series, that we were supposed to impart spiritual things. And I'm really talking about spiritual power, but it may take different forms. Uh, might be the anointing, might be the gifts. So you, you, in order for you to do your part in the kingdom, you have to be equipped and you have to be have the impartation of God's power. You, you're not an island. You, you're just not somebody alone out there like a lone ranger. You, you, everybody is connected. You need connections. And so just by connecting to this meeting and these meetings, uh, with us, then you can receive some of that impartation, but tonight there's going to be a general impartation. And of course, when we've traveled around the world, different places in the world, uh, we've uh, raised up ministers and we've laid hands on them. Well, that option's not available for tonight because uh, you're located in all kinds of cities all over uh, this country, and so uh, we have to use a different approach. And so I knew I was going to do this, that we were going to do it. And so I've been asking the Lord seriously in prayer and interceding, how, how are we going to impart tonight over a Zoom meeting over the internet? And uh, uh, three o'clock uh, Saturday morning, he woke me up and I, I was praying and interceding for you. And I was praying and interceding for tonight. And this is what he shared with me. He said to be an imitator of God. And that comes from Ephesians 5.1. And so this is the way God operates. Uh, we know from Job, I believe it's 36, 32, that uh, God fills his hand with lightning and then he commands the lightning where to go. So that's that energy of God and the power of God. But, but I call it energy, not just power, because it's so active, that lightning. Uh, and, uh, and then in Habakkuk 3, 4, he said, that's the hiding in place, place of, of his, his power. power. It's, that, it's those lightning uh, bolts in his hands and 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 um, uh, then releasing it and so what he's oh, told me do. told me that's what I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to to release that energy that's in my hand because that's the hiding place of his power now I, I do want to say this that uh, uh, a few years ago we were in Cuba ministering to a group of uh, uh, ministers there and uh, I called them up to be filled with the Holy Spirit and so a room full of people came up to receive the uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit with speaking in tongues, and and uh, there was a line of people, and I started, and the first person I prayed for, him, that person, he received the Holy Spirit. I, I began to uh, reach out my hand to lay hands on the second man. Now, whether or not I actually touched him, I don't know. I was I got close to his head, but it was only the tip of my fingers. And when I got close to his head, he was catapulted into the uh, sky uh, seven or eight feet uh, uh, above uh, above the floor, seven or eight feet above the floor. And he was laying uh, horizontal on, on his back. And he, when he was catapulted up, one leg was on one side of me and the other leg was on the other side. It wasn't because he could jump. He couldn't jump like that. Nobody could jump like he jumped. But he, God, it was just the energy of God that was in my hand uh, when I prayed for him. Uh, and, and whether or not I actually touched his head, I don't know. But I, if it was, uh, I, I know I got close to his head and that happened and he went up and then he was up uh, in the air for uh, just a short time. And then he came down very hard on concrete floor. And I didn't know whether he had died or whether he had broken his back or what, I didn't know. He lay there for a couple of minutes and he was out for a couple of minutes. And then he jumped up and he turned around and he started laying hands on people and they were all filled with the Hallelujah! Now the point I want to make from that is that yes, I carry the power of God, the energy yes, of God amen. in my hand as Sherry does. And uh, we, we tell you lots of stories about uh, the miracles that the God has done through our hands and through our what we have done. Uh, but these are ongoing. This is not something that happened a long, long time ago. There are miracles. We had a report on miracles today. Hallelujah. And, and 
I, I want you to know that this is the way that God told me to uh, impart. And, and I'm, I'm bringing my part uh, to conclusion pretty quickly, but I want you to understand that it's because of our interest in you and we see the potential in you that we want you to fulfill your purpose on this earth. And you need the power of God in order to do that. Amen. See, Amen. the kingdom ministry is going to prepare and equip people for them to fulfill the purpose that God has for them uh, on the earth. But in order for me to do this to you, uh, to impart to you, that means that I have to have a connection with the Holy Spirit. As Hallelujah. I Amen. And... Uh, and, and I have to have what I'm going to impart into you. Uh, I, I have to have it because if I don't have it, I, I can't give you anything. I can only give you what I have. And so I'm going to impart uh, some things that God has told me to impart to you by his spirit. I'm going to impart these things. And I want you to know that you can receive them if you want to. Hallelujah. If you're not interested in these things, if you're and you don't want them, then you don't have to receive it. But I'm going to release it. And, and I want you to know that I understand that impartation is critical in God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. It's not so important, so critical in the religious system. In religious system, they, they don't impart very much. I, I've never seen them impart. Uh, but in the in the kingdom, impartation is very important because it's going on from generation to generation, from minister to minister. It's, it's continuing on. This is the thing that connects people together in the kingdom is these impartations. And they're very important and very critical to equip you. And you can't go out and do what God has purposed for you if you are not equipped to do it and so that's the reason we're going to do this Hallelujah. and uh, uh, one of the first things I want to talk about imparting and again I'm going to release it uh, the energy of God like the lightning from my hands uh, in, a, in a moment when, after I explain uh, some things and I, I'm going to release it and that's the way I'm going to release it now if we were face to face I'd lay hands on you but God has told me to be an imitator of him and and release the lightning uh, like he releases Hallelujah. it. And that's Hallelujah. the power. That's the hiding place of his power. And, and so that's exactly what it is for me. The first thing I want to release are, is <laughs> abundance and prosperity. And uh, in my lifetime, uh, in my lifetime, I want to release a billion dollars. That's a billion with a B. And I've traveled all over the world and I have released uh, this abundance to people because this is a part of my calling. He, uh, Jesus spoke to me in 1981 and he said, Freddie, I want to make you, I'm going to make you rich and I want you to teach my people how to be rich. And so that's a part of what I do. I teach people how to be rich. It's not all about money, but money is certainly a part of being rich. Uh, and, and so I'm going over my lifetime, release $1 billion into the body of Christ. That's my goal. And because the Holy Spirit put that goal That's in right. me, he put that desire in me to release a billion dollars. And so I've been doing this for years uh, over, over different nations, uh, uh, people I, I minister to, uh, particularly young ministers and uh, people I'm raising up and equipping for the ministry. And, and so... I believe that God wants to do that part of that tonight. And I've heard reports about uh, people uh, starting businesses and kind of starting successful businesses Amen. Amen. after I've done this or making investments and those investments being successful or, or finding oil on their land or discovering oil on their land. Yes, yes. Different things. I've heard lots of different testimonies. So th I know uh, this makes a difference. This is a part of my calling. This is a part of what the Holy Spirit has instructed to me to do. So this is the first thing I'm going to release to you, uh, anyone who wants it. Now, again, I want, uh, let's think about, well, how, as we talk about these impartations, uh, what's likely to happen in your life? Well, if you don't want it, if you don't receive it by faith, you don't get it. Uh, but if you want it, 
<laughs> if you want it, then it can take on several forms. Amen. If you've never had uh, the particular things that you're being anointed with, uh, then you might receive it. Just like uh, uh, Paul and Timothy said, I, I granted that gift to you uh, with the word of prophecy. So uh, it might be that I, we grant something to you that you haven't had before. It might be that we stir up something that you've had in a seed form. Uh, there are the, something that's been dormant when we might stir that stir up. Stir it up. Or it might be that you have a fire uh, in a particular area and we might uh, ignite that fire. We might uh, kindle that fire. We might uh, set it on a, a higher uh, blaze. And, and so at it, it different levels, it depends on where you are, what you're believing for, and, and uh, what we're releasing to you. But we're See, freely we have received, freely give. Mm. And we are to give generously. That's what uh, Romans 12, those that are going to give, uh, Romans 12, 28, that's the same word as impart. Uh, those who are going to give, give generously. If you're mm. going to impart, impart generously. So don't be uh, a miser about it and hold it back. And, oh, I want to keep it all. Because, see, it's a part of our stewardship. God has given us things, and we are to steward those things, and part of stewarding the things that he gives us is to give them out, and so we've received. We don't have anything that we haven't received. What do you have that you haven't received? Nothing. You have nothing that you haven't received, so uh, what we have, we've received, and we freely pass it on, so this first one is the area of abundance, and I release it Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, so if you, want to, if you want to receive it, just raise your hands and receive what I'm I extending to you Lord, in the I name of Jesus, the anointing God, for uh, abundance, abundance uh, Lord, and for finances, and that they might receive yes, their portion you, of the billion dollars that you've instructed me to release to the body of Christ over my lifetime. And I release this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the next thing I want to uh, release is a teaching anointing. I, I received a teaching anointing, and I want to release it. Uh, to you, because everybody needs to be able to teach and share the gospel of yes, the kingdom. Amen. Now, this is not about uh, some uh, social gospel. This is not about uh, some uh, gospel of salvation. This is the gospel of the kingdom. And that's what I have an anointing uh, to share. And so uh, here's the second thing I'm sharing, and it's an anointing for teaching, to teach the gospel of the kingdom, to explain uh, with wisdom and understanding so that they will be able to receive the gospel of the kingdom, uh, that you'll make it simple and that you'll be able to share with them what they need at the time by the Spirit of God that you're, you're well equipped to share, uh, and it may be on the, uh, on the, at the instant that you need it, the moment you need it, that it'll be there, that there'll, there'll be an impartation of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and not that you need anyone teach you, but the anointing will teach you in the name of Jesus, the anointing to teach and share and open up the gospel and open up the uh, the Bible and the word of God and share the word with Revelation people so the that it will, Hallelujah. so they will understand it. So it will impact their heart in the name of Jesus. And the next thing I want to share that I believe the unction of the Holy Spirit is the anointing and the power of God uh, on your life to minister to people, to, to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. And uh, release this. And then if you want it, receive it. By faith in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I release it such as I have. I give it to you in the name of Jesus. We do this by faith. We do this by faith in the name of Jesus. Just receive it and be thankful uh, to God for it and walk it out. Walk it out. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that their hearts are open to receive what God has for them this day. Now I'm going to turn it over to Sherry and let her uh, 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 impart what she wants to impart. To. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just praise you and we thank you uh, for receiving from your Holy Spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Right now, Father, I just release... Uh, that that prophetic anointing uh, to come upon those who 
uh, re receive uh, from your spirit, Lord, uh, messages from you, Father, uh, that they will come forth uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that prophetic anointing is already bubbling up on the inside of you. It will come out of your mouth with power and with boldness. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, there's a, a another a spe, a special anointing. Actually, there's two more. Hallelujah. Uh, one is for healings and creative miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. And so if you desire to, to operate in that gifting and that special anointing, uh, Jesus laid his hand in my hand. Uh, two weeks after I had my surgery and the cancer was was burned out of my body by the Holy Spirit, uh, he laid his hand on my right hand and he says, from this day forward, you have a special anointing for healing and for creative miracles and for raising the dead. Now, if you want that, I'm fixing to release it to you in Jesus' name. Father, right now, I thank you for that uh, anointing for healing and miracle, creative miracles, and for raising the dead in the name of Jesus. Lord, freely I have re received from you, and freely I give uh, to your people, Lord, in Jesus' name, to your leaders, Lord. Let them go forth in all the earth, Lord. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. I hear you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Now, there's another anointing, and that is for, for the, uh, that, um, of the seer. You see, a seer is different than the prophetic. Uh, a seer sees uh, what the Spirit of God is doing. Uh, the seer sees what, what needs to be done. The seer sees inside of individuals. Uh, I can see like an x-ray. Now, that happened a few years ago, about three years ago. Uh, the Lord uh, spoke to me and said, I'm going to give you sight uh, so that you will be like an x-ray and you can see on the inside of what needs to be done in a person's body, physical body. And so if you, and also, but that seer is also, you see what the father is wanting to do in the earth. You see it. And then the prophet speaks it out. So the seer sees, but the prophet speaks it out. And when those things, two things are combined, there is much power. There is much power. So I release to you uh, that, that special gifting of seer in the name of Jesus, that you will be able to see what the Lord is doing in the earth and you will be able to speak it out of your mouth and it will be with power and it will be with boldness and it will be, produce results in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you the same thing that the Spirit told me uh, flying into Midland, Texas one day. He said, from this day forward, you watch your words because your words will be with such power that it will bring things to pass immediately. Hallelujah. So from this night forward, you watch what you say. You move in the Spirit. You be led by the Spirit. You speak out what the Spirit of God is telling you and what you see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That spirit of, of being able to raise the dead. Uh, Freddie was talking about impartations that we, we have received uh, in, the, in the past. And there was a woman on a platform in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and she was part of, of Smith Wigglesworth uh, household. Her uh, parents were married by him. And before he died, he imparted into her uh, the, the gifting of, of healing and raising the dead. You know, he raised 14 people from the dead. And so I ran down there on the platform in front of thousands of people and I hugged that woman and I hugged her and she hugged me. And she said to me, did you receive it? And I said, yes, I did receive it. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so do you receive it tonight? Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord, we just praise you and we thank you uh, for impartation. And I'm going to turn it over to, to Sister Becky. Sister Becky and the two of us, we have been together for over 35 years. We have walked together. We have ministered together. Hallelujah. And I believe that she has something that she wants to impart, maybe several things, but I'm going to ask her to. to... I, I would like to say something about Sister Becky. Uh before she comes on. And, and as Sherry said, uh, we've uh, ministered together uh, for several decades and she's not really that old, but uh, I guess it's a toddler first. <laughs> but, uh, we, we started ministering together, but, but not only that, uh, in the past few weeks, we have been meeting with her yeah. and uh, praying and interceding about tonight and about some other things coming up. And, and so we definitely want to give her an opportunity uh, to impart in yes, your life as amen, well. Yes, amen, amen. Sister Hallelujah. Bethel. Well, you know, I am just, I've just received so much impartation. Y'all just better get ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I have seen from the Lord um, in, in doing this impartation, he gave to me in a vision. It's been a while back now. I saw in my hand a ball of what looked like energy. Of Amen. fire. Amen. And and, uh, and he had that in my hand. And he said, you're going to take that. And I'm just going to toss it to you. And, and you're going to take it. Okay. So I'm going to toss it out there. And you're going to take it. And you're going to put it inside of you. Because the Lord spoke to me before I started tonight. And he, this began. And he said, it's going to tell them it will be like Mary. Hey, come on, look about a cop. Because you see, an angel came and imparted to Mary. It yes, was that yes. Kind of impartation. Yes, and yes. A supernatural impartation. It's one of the Holy Ghost. And, and, the, and this angel showed up and he, he gave an impartation to Mary. So he says to you tonight to be like, a, uh, receive it like Mary, because when I'm going to toss out to you what is from the Holy Ghost, Amen. you're going to take it and you're going to put it inside you and you are going to ponder on it. Ponder because it will come forth. Woo. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Well, the first thing the Lord wants to impart to you is in line with some of the other impartation. And that is he is going to give you supernatural increase. Amen. Amen. Uh, in a time in my life Ooh, um, and I needed some money, this, this is an absolute miracle of God. He brought me a $5 bill in the mouth of my dog. Amen. Now that's been probably 35 years ago and no, I've I'm never not. seen anything like of that kind of a miracle, but over and over and over again. So right now, I'm going to give you, I'm going to impart to you that gift of financial increase. Get ready. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you right now that you have the all that we need and more than enough and that you have given it to us in abundance. And right now, Father God, I take that gift that you have given me and I release it right now in Jesus' name. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take it. Thank you, Lord. Supernatural increase. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the next thing I want to release to you is the Lord said in this ministry, you would need one wing of words of knowledge and you'd need one wing of words of wisdom. And the Lord has given me words of knowledge. And, and what he does is he pours it out to those times when this person that you're ministering to, that word of knowledge is going to hit the mark right in that time that it will open their heart to receive what he wants them to receive. Amen. And in the jail ministry, I've seen so many words of knowledge where people were, their hearts were not open and the word of knowledge comes 
and their and the love of God comes and they melt. Amen. And God wants Amen. You to have that word of knowledge on one wing, and He wants you to have the word of word. wisdom on the other one. Hallelujah. And that is, He's going to give you the gift of knowing what to tell others to do. Just like the sons of Issachar, hey, yeah, they amen, had a word amen. and they knew and they received from God what was going on and to know what to tell people to do. That's a word of wisdom of what's coming up down the line. So right now, I'm going to release to you, Jesus. hallelujah, that gift of the word of knowledge. I'm going to impart that gift to you. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will impart to you right now the word of wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive it, it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has given me this one for a long time, but he visited me in the night in a dream and he poured it in at a deep, deep level. And I'm telling you what, you need this one. And it is within you a, a divine unction to worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, David had, had it. And, and he wants everyone to have that divine option, that you know, above yes. everything else. Yes, yes. A worshiper. In yes. the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I right now. Right now. And I toss it to you. Take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus. For worship, Lord. Lord. The worship, Glory Lord. Glory to hallelujah. God. Worship, hallelujah. worship, worship, worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, glory. The last one is fire. Woo! I'm going to take right now and I'm going to give you an impartation of fire. fire hallelujah. Get ready for it. Woo! Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Right hallelujah. now, I release an impartation yes, 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 yes. of fire. fire. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In Jesus' in the name of mighty Jesus. name. 